Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to see how to work with cross-origin resource sharing, otherwise known as cores, using HappyJS. So HappyJS is a Node.js web framework for APIs, and we're going to see how to get everything functional so that way you can use cross-browser JavaScript to access your APIs, because by default uh, what's going to happen is if you try to access them in with JavaScript, uh, you're going to get this nasty error because you've been blocked. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at a few things. So I already have some code available here. I, I want to keep this short and sweet. So this is happy JS. I have everything running. I have all of the just one dependency installed. Um, this is an application that does not have cross origin resource sharing as of yet. Um, so if I wanted to, and I'll demonstrate right now, if I wanted to hit this one API endpoint on my local host that's serving on port 3000, I can go to my web browser. Um, I can type it in and I will get hello world. Um, now let's change things up. Um, so this is where it counts. Um, and the reason, the reason why it actually showed uh, when I went directly to the route is because I'm not trying to use JavaScript to access this particular endpoint. But if I open up this index.html file, um, so this index.html file is just very, very simple JavaScript. I actually ripped it off of a website. I ripped it off of uh, W3Schools. So this code was, uh, I did not create it. Um, so I just want to give credit where credit is due. Um, so W3Schools is where I've got that simple code. Um, but what we're doing is we're simply creating an HTML page. We're printing out a message uh, when we launch the page. And then we're trying to issue an HTTP request to this localhost port 3000 endpoint. So the same thing that I opened up in my web browser. Um, so if I went to it in my web browser, um, what I would get is I would get uh, this nasty error in my console log saying that uh, I've been blocked um, because there's an access control allow origin um, not present. Um, so this is what you would get. So what we want to do is we want to um, alleviate this error. So we want to get rid of it. So that way it works for uh, whatever whatever web browser or or origin host that we want to use. Uh, so let's go back into our code. Uh, we're not going to have to make any changes to our index.html file because cores is all done server side, um, and this is a front end application. So everything we do is going to be in this app.js file with our happy JS application. Um, so we have we have a few a few options when it comes to this. The first option is if we want to allow uh, cores against all origins, against all HTTP methods, against all headers, uh, we can simply add the following to our uh, configuration on line three through six. Um, so we can say routes, uh, routes is an object, uh, we can say cores, and we can say true. Um, so now uh, cross origin resource sharing is true, it's enabled, I can save it, uh, my server will restart, I can go back to Chrome, I can refresh my application, uh, my index.html, and, it, and it's now showing hello world inside the logs. Now that's one option. Now there's the other option, well maybe we don't want to enable cores for every single origin, maybe we want to keep this strictly um, to our own origin websites. Maybe this is not a public API, this is just an API for our own web applications. Um, so we have another option. So cores uh, can be a boolean, it can also be an object. Um, so in the event that it's an object, uh, we can specify things a little more uh, fine grain. Um, so we can define an origin. Um, in this case, if I wanted to keep the functionality that I have now, I can add an asterisk there. So the origin is now wildcarded. I can specify the headers that are allowed um, as part of my course policy. Uh, maybe I want to have the accept headers. Maybe I want to have the content type headers. If there's headers that come through that aren't on this list, uh, well, we're violating the course policy and it's going to fail. Um, let's take another look. Um, in addition to headers, we can also do um, other headers. Um, so we can do something like additional headers. Um, so this, this would be more along the lines of you could add custom headers here, so on and so forth. Maybe we want uh, requested with, maybe we want other stuff. Uh, we'll just keep it at that for now. I'm going to save it. Um, in theory, this should still work if I refresh my page. And it did. Um, so it still says hello world. And there's other options that you could apply as well. Um, you could even do route specific, um, route specific course policies. 
Um, but more often than not, not, I just find myself saying cores is true because if I'm building an API, chances are I want the world to, con to consume that API. Um, so I might as well just make it open to everyone. Uh, if you wanted to, you can make this fail again. Instead of saying, uh, let's just go ahead and specify a host. Let's just say local host, maybe port 4200, which is an Angular serve port. Um, this will fail because I'm not serving my application with Angular, my front-end application. I'm just serving it from the file system. So if I were to refresh my, my page, again, I get that cores error again. Um, so it's pretty easy um, to add core support in Happy Framework. Uh, again, this is all ha this all has to do with the back end. It doesn't really matter what front end you use. I just did uh, simple vanilla JavaScript for the sake of being uh, simple. Um, but again, it's it's all it's all dependent on what you do with uh, your happy backend.